Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a quick video about what a draw call is and how you can find out how many you have in your game or your scene and what you might be able to do to improve performance if you have too many. So basically a draw call, it has to do with geometry rendering. It's a heavy expense as far as rendering goes. And it's basically one way to think of it as a single unit of GPU rendering of geometry. So it's basically an object per object. And every object then results in a draw call to the GPU to draw it, to render it. So how you can measure your draw calls is if you come down here to the command line and you type in stat, let me come down here, hit play here on this scene right here. And I'll just go, well, let me exit out. Let me go to stat. RHI and you'll see right here it where it says draw primitive calls I've got about 4700 going on so that's getting kind of high so the general rule of thumb is that two to three thousand and this is straight from the unreal documentation that two to three thousand is reasonable that's a standard number for most games five thousand or forty seven hundred like this shopping lot scene is is getting borderline it's getting high but it's still within acceptable limits it's kind of you could consider it like in the yellow range and generally if this is more than ten thousand that's getting concerning and troublesome that can become troublesome of course there are other factors that can be involved but the draw call that high could be an issue so I, i'm working on a game right now and it's i just tested it and it's about 1700 so i'm pretty good and i felt like i had quite a bit of geometry this particular scene has a lot going on in here this is the the shopping market from the unreal marketplace i had to bust down the front door to come in here <laughs> there's a lot going on in here there's a lot of so it leads to a question of well what do we do if you have your your draw call is too high what can we do well Good candidates, one, the one suggestion is to merge models where you can. And there's some general rules of thumb with that with the regarding merging. And if you're looking for what meshes you can merge, because if the model is combined into one, that can create some other problems, but basically it's less draw calls. So the less materials your meshes have, the better. If you have one mesh with 10 materials on it, that's going to be 10 draw calls. So if there's a way to cut back on your materials, that's one way to improve your draw calls. The other thing is if you could merge meshes. So as far as meshes to merge, this might, I don't know if these are merged. Let's take a look here. It might be all just one big mesh right there. So, but let's see. One way you can tell is if you come into tools and go to audit, and then you go into statistics, it has a list of all the meshes in your scene all the static meshes and so what you can do is look like there's 41 wood boxes there's 40 apparently refrigerators there's all these different meshes there's these shelves and so you just go through your scene and see if there it was possible to merge these items into one model then and then that would be that fewer draw calls that would need to be made so that's one object. These are pretty small objects, but these are actually can be ideal for merging into one if it's possible. So let me see. So this would just be one way. So the wood boxes, if there was a way to merge those, that would be one suggestion to do. The best candidates for merging would be that they're in the same area in the scene. They're basically duplicate duplicates of each other. It's duplicate geometry and they're relatively low poly and they share the same materials. And ideally they have either no collision or simple collision on them. And then the last thing is that things off in the distance, distant geometry is usually ideal for merging geometry. So that's just kind of a quick look at what draw calls are. The main point is, is that it's good to look at your draw calls and make sure you're not exceeding going over 5,000. And if you are, where can you reduce materials or potentially merge geometry together so to get that number back down to a more reasonable level. So anyway, that's all I had for today. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.